Hi, this is Vicki from Learning Home Volunteers, and welcome back to our learning session on colors. I hope you liked last week's activities. I think my favorite was the mosaic squares. I found myself writing with them with my little glue stick. I can't wait to see the pictures of what your learners did. This week, we're going to have three more color activities. The fun never ends. So this is activity number six, color pattern matching. And as your kids get older, they are able to be able to do amazing things like counting and naming abstract things like feelings. Be able to talk about things that have happened in the past or things that are coming. Their cognitive skills are actually maturing. And one of the things that they begin to do is recognize patterns. Maybe a pattern in a schedule, like today is the day we go grocery shopping, or maybe my big brother leaves in the morning and gets back after lunch. This activity is to exercise those patterns being recognized. And this one is actually a pattern of two things, always the same, a blue stick followed by a yellow stick. With this exercise, we repeat the pattern three times. You can see blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. And then there's a set of question marks asking the child what goes next. A couple of ideas on the play. You might want to start by just offering the colors that are actually used in the pattern matching. So in this case, just blue and yellow sticks would be provided to the child. The child would then place the blue stick over the blue line and the yellow stick over the yellow line and so forth and so on. And then at the end, they're going to have a choice of either a blue or a yellow to put on the question mark thing. Don't distress if your child doesn't get the right answer. It means more uh, that um, it's just not the right time for this kind of activity. And if that happens, you could always go back and use the opportunity to count the sticks, identify the colors, ask, have a conversation, ask why they chose the color that they did. As always, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and they're doing great, and so are you. Now also included in that pack of tax, tasks for colored pattern matching are more complex patterns like the ones you see here. This pattern uses three different colors to establish its pattern of red, blue, and orange. And if your learner enjoyed uh, a two-part pattern, see if they like this fancy one. Now you know you can create patterns of your own in your own home. Um, I used to use silverware because I have well, we had enough of it to be able to make patterns, but cars and trucks work, or Unifex cubes work, or dots of color. You can make your own, and I, I can't wait to see what kinds of things you guys make patterns out of. This is activity number seven, coloring like an artist. The artist that we're featuring is Piet Mondrain. He's a Dutch painter who experimented with the idea of a simple set of colors and geometric shapes to create beautiful um, paintings. I think it's going to be fun to build some of the art on our own. And here are some examples just to kind of give you a sense of his work, all kind of geometric in grids. So we included in your bag a couple of sheets which have a grid on the sheet that's shown like this. There's big black lines um, and places that are obviously delineated by the lines. Have your child choose three colors and color in the squares. Doesn't make any difference what colors they use or which squares they color in. Um, it will still turn out absolutely stunning. Um, they can use colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever they like to do for their coloring. We would love to see what your child does, and I'll share mine towards the end of the week. Our last activity um, in our color session is beading. It's activity number eight. We got a donation of large wooden beads, all in primary and secondary colors. Beading is so much fun, and it is great for developing fine motor skills. With these beads, you can identify shapes, colors, and even count how many you put on the string. Sounds like a perfect activity to me. Well, that wraps up our color learning session. We hope you and your learner enjoyed exploring colors in all these different kinds of ways. 
next session will be on our senses. See you then.